All right, well, I lost the uh, I lost the original recording that I did for this location, so I'm just going to redo it this time. Thankfully, all the information's still, you know, well in my head. Um, now, this is the uh, Ward Camp in Loping Plains, which is a uh, it's pretty well known. It was quite popular around the time that it came out when uh, I think it was Secrets of Fader, the this expansion that it came out in SOF. Um, <clears throat> Loping Plains is pretty much like the it's kind of the same zone as uh, Dragon Scale Hills in the fact that it's amazing XP and people pretty much always come here. Um, first up is Dragon Scale Hills, and then once people outlevel Dragon Scale Hills, they come here. Now, um, <clears throat> this uh, this camp is probably the most well known and the most popular camp uh, in this zone, the Wargs. Um, mainly for this, um, or I should say, mainly the main reason for this is. Uh, where I just looked all the way over there, there's a taskmaster that gives you a task to kill uh, 20 wargs. He also gives tasks to kill 20 orcs and uh, 20 goblins, but I generally skip the goblin task. And uh, <clears throat> I, I stick to the wargs and werewolves. Um, now, these uh, wargs are great, great XP alone, and then the task you know, further improves the amount of uh, XP that you'll be getting you know, from killing here. Now, uh... <clears throat> The, the one thing you want to keep in mind is, uh, due to the fact that this is a uh, SOF, uh, and it's a much, much, much later expansion, the, uh, <clears throat> the wargs hit hard. They hit for, like, their max hit from what I've seen is, like, 1,200, but I'm fairly well geared, so their max hit, you know, on somebody lesser geared would probably be, you know, significantly more. And also, I have, uh, a bunch of, well... Uh, one of the things that I recommend for here is this, uh, combat agility and combat stability. You will need a lot of, uh, CA and CS, you know, placed well. You'll need a lot of defensive talents here, defensive AAs, I should say, uh, if you plan to kill these wargs efficiently. Because, uh, as I said, they hit hard. Um, sometimes it's hard to get a, a single pull from the wargs but it's it's not like significantly that difficult and either way if you if you're here you should be able to at least handle two of them and maybe three if you're pushing it i can handle maybe seven or eight of them at a time but that's pushing it and i gotta back off to wait for my mark to toss me a few heals um <clears throat> now the wargs don't really drop any 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 loot worth any money uh they drop a few crystals i've seen them drop like a few gems and it's it's all like eh it doesn't really sell for that much, so pretty much it, it, this will be a strictly leveling location. The XP here is great. I, uh, I, it's hard to find you know better XP around my level than what I can get here. Uh, I'll be killing this warg soon, but keep track. I'm at 15% right now. So uh, I'll show you after I kill this warg, and then I'll kill the other warg, and then I'll go turn in the task, and we'll see how much XP the task gives you at level 85. Which... uh. Level 85 is probably slightly pushing it for here. I mean, it's not really necessary to be that high. I bet you could be here at level 75 or 80, depending on how many AAs you have. Of course, the lower level you come here, the more AAs you will need. 24% I got, uh, I'm up to now, so mobs give a decent amount. Um, now back to AAs. You'll need a, the lower level you are, the more AAs you will need to hunt here efficiently and effectively. You don't want to, uh, you know, you don't want to come out here with just 100 AAs at like level 75 because you're just going to get rolled over. Um, <clears throat> another option is if you do want to come out here with uh, that many AAs or, and, uh, you know, that low of a level, you can always try putting together a group. You can get guildies to come out here. You can, uh, you know, slash LFG, you know, call those people out here. You can do pretty much anything uh, to get people to come out here. And, uh, you know, chances are they will be willing to do that because it is very, very good XP. You know, even for me, and I'm dramatically, like, these guys will probably go green at uh, level 86. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, I'm, I'm just fitting in the last little bit I can get here, which uh, it, it works quite well. Uh, now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go turn in this task so we can see how much XP it gives you, and you'll get a another rough estimate for that. <clears throat> But uh, besides that, really, there is nothing else to this, uh, to hunting the wargs, let's see. I am at 34%, and now I am at 82%. As you can see, it's great XP.
Um, I got pretty much an entire AA just from turning that in. The wargs give like 9% a kill uh, or something like that. So it, it's definitely, definitely great XP out here. That's undeniable. The only thing that, like I said earlier, the only thing that kind of does suck is the fact that uh, they hit so hard. They, they really, really hit hard. If you're not, if you're not expecting it, uh, and you're coming out here thinking like, hey, I just breezed through uh, Dragon Scale Hills, so, you know, they weren't hitting that hard. Let's just go over to Loping Plains. You're going to be, like, rudely awakened because these guys hit hard. Uh, and, you know, sometimes fast. Uh, as far as soloing out here goes, if you do come soloing out here, I would definitely, definitely uh, pretty much say bring a Merc. Uh, without a Mercenary, you're going to be, it's going to be a, a, a lot slower. Um, <clears throat> it doesn't really matter what kind, depending on what your class is. If you want to bring a tank merc out here, if you're a clerk, if you want to bring a healer merc, if you're going to be the one taking the damage, you know, blah, 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 blah. Um, another thing I would like to add is the wargs do not summon. Uh, they do run, but they don't summon you, which means they are kiteable. So you could quad kite them, kite them, it doesn't really matter. Um, <clears throat> and also I haven't seen any names pop around in these wargs ever, and I come here quite often so i wouldn't say there's any names so once again there really isn't a good chance of loot but you will be getting a lot of xp which you know would make will make up for it but uh that's about all i can think about saying for this location so i'm going to kill this warg and then stop the video and then i'll head over to the wereworks and make a video for there too so uh <clears throat> yeah if you want to you know, if you want more information on this location, uh, I have a link in the description, which will take you directly to my website, and uh, that's in pretty much every single one of my videos. I link to my website, would because uh, these videos are mainly just here to support my website rather than stand alone as a leveling guide, and uh, <clears throat> that that's just how I work. So, if you're interested in learning more about this location, head over to my website.